Well, today I sent out my newsletter and created this beautiful card with the new Fitting Florets bundle. And where's my other stamp set? There it is. Um, that I wanted to just do a really quick video today to show you how I put that together while this set is still available. So this frame florette set um, and the coordinating dies are going to carry over into the new uh, mini catalog that is coming out. And I can't show you the inside yet, but this is what we're looking at for January. There's some really, really beautiful new stamp sets in here. Uh, we'll be showcasing some of those over the next few weeks. However, one of those that's stamping up pre-release for us is the Fitting Florets bundle. And the reason they did that is it has this gorgeous stamp set here that, you know, is your typical florals and sentiments. Some gorgeous frames, which are my favorite part here. You've got ovals here in all different sizes. And then they have also, along with this, released a coordinating Christmas stamp set. So this framed and festive set, which if you followed me at all over the last little bit, I have used on almost all of my Christmas cards this year. It's absolutely lovely and it's only available till the end of December. So make sure you get your hands on that. The other things that are only available till the end of December and our special releases are these beautiful gold. They're like kind of flat. What are they calling these? Adhesive back swirls. So they're flatter than normal uh, gems, but they've got sort of this like spirally texture on them and they're beautiful and also some coordinating designer series paper so you can see here that if you are some of these papers are a little bit more holiday related and will work for your Christmas crafting um, but there's also some other really beautiful papers in here of lots of pinks and balmy blues this is the evening evergreen and the soft succulent you've got petal or blushing bride in there some night of navy all of these different beautiful floral patterns. And so our coordinating dies will cut out some of these images here in the paper for you as well. So I love this one here with the blues and the pinks, so pretty. And today actually I'm gonna change up the card a little bit from the one that you saw in my newsletter um, or the one that's accompanying this post. Maybe it's in the post, I don't know. It's in my newsletter anyways. If you're not in my newsletter, make sure you subscribe. I send out uh, different tutorials once a month, sometimes twice a month. It just kind of depends what's going on um, or if I have something exciting to share with you. And today there was so much I needed to share with you. Uh, the clearance rack was updated with some fantastic deals. The last chance list was posted today with up to 60% off of everything that's retiring from the current mini catalog. Um, and then a few other, a new class that's coming up, et cetera, et cetera, where all of my newsletters. So I had so much to share. I sent out a newsletter today, and this is the project that was in there that I wanted to put together for you. Okay, so first things first, I just keep setting stuff on top of other stuff. <laughs> I can't even find where I'm going here. So we're going to use seal um, and then our tear and tape today, partly because that's what I have here on my table with me. I have just a standard card base here that measures eight and a half by five and a half. And I'm gonna go hold, go ahead and fold that in half. I've already scored it at four and a quarter uh, to make my card base here. So let's give it a nice burnishing so that it will stay kind of shut. I have a piece of uh, Evening Evergreen and another coordinating piece of the designer series paper. And I've chose the soft succulent. So you'll notice this is slightly different from the card uh, that's in my newsletter, but I just, I'm not one of those people that likes to make the same card over and over again. Some people can make like 50 or 60 or more of the same card and that's wonderful. That's really a very efficient way to do it. But I'm more of a creator, a crafter kind of person. I love the creating and designing part of things. So, you know, anyways. We've got this evening evergreen piece here, and let me just measure it for you. I'm gonna move this little page out of the way because it's in centimeters. And this one measures five by three and three quarters. And the scrap or the piece of designer series paper measures four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. All right, so there's a little fun math for you to try and figure out today. And all we're going to do with this is I'm going to just add some of the seal to the back of here. And I'm going to layer these on top of one another, just like that. So really easy peasy. This nice evening evergreen. I love a nice dark frame 
um, which the Evening Evergreen is going to provide for us on top of there. I think I've got hair all over the place here. I must be, you know, I'd say doing my winter shed, but I should be, you know, like <laughs> getting more headed. It's like, you know, more hair. It's getting colder outside, not warmer. And this is going to go on like that, but I'm not going to put that on yet. I'm going to first put on my sentiment and my centerpiece. So what I've got ahead and done is I've cut out with my dies out of the gold foil here using this one here I've cut out the gold border and I've gone ahead and done this ahead of time which left me with this now you probably would want to save this for another project but I'm going to actually just use it today because I've already cut it out and it's right here it's the right size and it's going to be white and that is going to actually go on the back of our sentiment so our sentiment was embossed in gold on vellum paper so if you aren't familiar with embossing I will put a link to that in the description for you so that you can link to that video as well or please sign up for one of my new classes that's coming up watch for that um, that's a technique class actually okay so watch for that more information to come so now to adhere vellum because you can see through it you kind of have to be a little bit strategic so what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to use some mini glue dots. I was going to use my tear and tape, but I think it's going to show too much. So I'm going to just take a few pieces or a few um, mini glue dots here. And I'm going to strategically place them kind of behind my letters. Let's see where we could put another one. And if you just push your whatever paper you have to your glue dot, it just comes off on the back. So I think that's good. Maybe I'll put three. These things are pretty... Um, strong so you don't have to really worry too much okay I've got three of those kind of strategically put here behind the the letters and I'm going to adhere that to this piece of white now you could absolutely just cut out another piece of white but I already had this one and it just seemed to make sense to me so I flipped it over and now I've got white behind here now the reason I did that is because when I put this on here it's going to pop out if I hadn't put white behind it it would sort of kind of disappear into the the background a little bit and that's a completely different softer look which you could totally do as well but I loved how this kind of popped out like that so now I am going to use my tear and tape to adhere these two pieces together a little bit so you could use actually a little piece of scotch tape but all of our products are um, acid free and so they're not going to color over time if somebody decided to keep your project long term there wouldn't be any issues at all so I'm going to just line this up because this inside matches with this. And I'm going to just take a little piece of tape and just stick it on like that. Now I'm just going to make sure I've got this right. I do. Okay, I'm going to take another little piece off of here and just stick it on the other side, just like that, just to hold those together. Now I'm going to take the whole piece and I'm going to use some dimensionals that I forgot to bring. Oh, sorry about that. I'm going to rock the table. Wah. Got my chair stuck underneath. All right, I'm going to use these dimensionals here to just stick on the back. And again, if you just kind of overlap the edges like this, it's going to add an extra kind of layer of stickiness. <laughs> of I guess it's going to join those edges together even a little bit more for you. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and put this onto our card front. Just taking off the backs of the dimensionals here and we're going to just stick that right onto the front now on this card instead of using the color the colorway that was suggested on the first card with evening evergreen balmy blue and soft succulent night of navy i have decided to bring in some polished pink and actually I was going to show you what I did with that but anyways what I did is I took um some night of navy and you could definitely just use a black as well and I stamped this longer stamp you can use the smaller flowers you can use whichever one you want to I decided to use this beautiful one because I just love how it sort of hangs and frames the oval in such a beautiful way and then I pulled out something that I don't actually use that much and I don't know why probably because I love my blend so much but I just colored these with the stamp and write markers and it was perfect for these smaller intricate little pieces here I used the polished pink soft succulent and the evening evergreen so they all came out of the same 
coordinating pack of Stampin' Rate markers. Uh, and I colored these to match, uh, to coordinate. And then I punched out with the die cuts just a few of these random leaves that I'm going to add in there as well. All right, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to stick this onto my card front now that I've got that part put together. So I can kind of see what it looks like as I add my embellishments to it. I count flowers and die cuts and stuff as embellishments. Like it's just, you're just adding them to kind of take your card up to the next level because our card is already looking pretty sharp. And if we just left it like this, it would be a fantastic card um, to give. Now I've used thank you with all my heart on here. So it would also look really adorable with some hearts on here, um, different things like that. You could change up the colors, use silver here instead, whatever your heart desires but we're kind of sticking with our sketch a little bit so i'm going to kind of you know what i kind of wanted this a little bit well it's too late now a little bit higher because i'm going to put this down here i think so what i like to do is just kind of stick my stuff together a little bit look at it decide if that's how i want it to be and then i'm going to go ahead and glue it all together so what do you think about that Or is it too much? Should we just put this on with just our little leaves here in the couple little leaves in the corner? What do you think? Sometimes I'll put my stuff on here and I'll take a picture of it and then I'll look at the picture to see which one I like better. You know what? I think I'm going to leave it simple like that. I'm not going to put this other leaf on there even though it's beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and use some dimensionals on the back of here and stick that first of all on. And then I'm going to go ahead and tuck my little leaves in underneath. Now you can put it this way or this way if you wanted to kind of uh, break up your oval a little bit, but I kind of like it just how it is. So I've got my dimensionals on there. And now we're going to just stick these in here underneath some of the adhesive. You know what? I'm going to use glue dots. If I can find them. All right go ahead another good adhesive for this would be um, liquid glue but you can kind of if you see this you put your glue dot on you can kind of roll it behind a little bit and then wherever you stick it except it's really sticky <laughs> so you gotta try and get it in here a little bit i'm not going to push it down yet because i want to make sure it's where i want it to go we're going to find another glue dot on here and do the same thing on this one I'm going to try to put the glue dot a little bit farther down the stem. Okay. Let's see. Let's tuck that one in a little bit more there. There, I think that looks good. What do you think? All right, let's do the last thing. We're going to add in a little bit more gold. So we've got these beautiful elements here that we want to use. Um, so I'm going to grab my take a pick tool and take some of these off here. Now my take a pick tool needs to be twisted. So if you find that it's not sticking, you just need to give it a little turn and you'll see, like, don't keep turning and turning. Just give it a little turn and wait a second. And then your putty is going to pop up to the top. It just kind of takes a minute to sort of get moving or to get like up, I don't know, to expand out the top. And I kind of, I know there's not a circle on that flower, but I kind of want three down there. I don't know. You need to have odd numbers always are more pleasing to the eye. So we're going to go with three gold dots down there. What do you think? Isn't that pretty? But yeah, so it's a little bit of a slight alternative to the card that I sent out in my newsletter as far as the colors, the order of the colors and how the flowers were placed. But I wanted to give you another idea of how you might be able to make this card. Use the same dimensions, just use the paper that you have on hand. Uh, again, the Fitting Florets bundle, I did link that in my um, post for you. So if you wanted to look at that, you go right ahead and do that. And don't forget to check out the clearance the clearance rack and the last chance items while you're over there. All of those things are available while supplies last. Um, lots of the clearance items have been flying off the shelves. So make sure you get over there and take a peek and let me know if you have any questions. So happy stamping. Thanks for joining me today. Bye.